Hello, this is a very brief uh, video of some pianos that have just come into stock. I have looked at them carefully, but don't have time to make a uh, video of them. Well, I'm sorry about that. But uh, this Bersendorfer Grand 170, made in 1978, sorry, 1986, and has a typically wonderful tone of the Bersendorfer. That's where I first test the piano around there, because that's where you play it the most. Of course, it's, a, it's not an incredibly long piano, but for the size of the piano, it has a, a very round bass sound. So that's encouraging. One piece ivory keys. And the casework is in good condition apart from this side here, um, which you can see has some cracks on it. Now that's polyester. It's usually because it's been exposed to, to quite a lot of heat, sometimes sunlight, and that causes it to, to crack. So you have to make sure if you've got a polyester piano, don't let the sun get onto it. But it's quite hardy otherwise. The inside of the piano is in very good condition. So really pleased to get this piano in. We often get Bersendorfers from the 30s, 20s and 30s, but very rarely these modern ones, and they're very sought after. Now next to it here, we do have a Bersendorf from 1923. Um, again, it's a piano that we really like to get in and usually fully restore, very often do, um, for various reasons. This one is certainly very worn. You can see where... Um, the keys have come off and been stuck back on and they've yellowed some of them. So we would replace those key tops completely with modern uh, modern plastic keys, unfortunately. But if the keys have gone that much, you can't really do much about it. And the piano needs repolishing too. Um, and these mahogany cases on Bersendorfers are quite plain, really. So this will be redone completely, I think. Um, it ha has quite a lot of wear. As I say, I have looked at them in depth, and if you're interested in any of these, of course, you can do individual videos of them too. But generally, structurally in very good condition, um, but I think we're going to fully restore. I'll play them all at the end so you, you can have a comparison of tone. Now, just very briefly, this Bluetooth Star 4, which is uh, 150 centimeters long, is one that we love restoring. This one definitely needs restoring in a lot, quite considerable lot of work to do. The keys have been changed. Good change, uh, good um, replacements for the ivories, actually. Um, and uh, I won't do any more on this one. It hasn't got a prop stick on it. It's come from uh, uh, Piano Tuner's he, his store, and unfortunately he hasn't got... Um, can't keep the store any longer. So um, the piano has potential, but it's a lot of work. Now this is a Beckstein Grand 1896 that we fully restored uh, some years ago. The client went to the USA and has come back. It did have ivory keys at the time, but uh, problems with customs, ivory is often a problem. Um, though if, with the right certificates, you can import and export them, but the USA is particularly difficult. And she decided to take them off before sending the piano back to us because she wants to now sell it. She's in the UK again. Um, so I'm really pleased to get this piano in. We've done uh, all the restoration you could think of doing on this piano, and I'll sh later on hopefully make a longer video. Uh, we've changed the rest plank, and one way you can tell apart from looking at the rest plank itself, you have to actually cut it out of uh, the, the Becksteins. You can see a slight line there where we've had to repair the casework on the side and on the other side as well, exactly the same. But otherwise the case, it's a wonderful rosewood, as you can see. And uh, right, that's the original rosewood desk, which is a particular style, that, um, a favorite style of Becksteins. You, you perhaps don't see it as often as um, the, the simple sunburst spider type ones but there is a problem with this that after we repolished this piano but since then it's been in some light i'm going to take the lid down and we can see that it does have a fade line on it so obviously that part at the back has been exposed and the front part hasn't it's not it's not so terribly bad but it obviously devalues, devalues the piano i don't think we can completely blend that in so if you're interested in the piano just uh, write to us and we'll, we'll try and think about it together with you. But the tone of the piano uh, is as good as you can ex we would expect on a Beckstein of this age. I'll play them all in a minute. Last of all, we have this Model B that's uh, just under seven foot Steinway Grand uh, from 1925. Um, this is a, a wonderful find for us. We'll be pleased to get it. It has been restored by somebody. It's a little bit on the heavy side. I forgot to mention that the Bösendorfer that we looked at first is as well. So we can certainly refine that, it's not going to be a problem. But it has original ivories in good condition. And the 
piano's been fully restored and well done as well. So, um, as I say, I can make a more detailed video of this later. The casework, as you'll have seen in the video, does need work. We could repolish this piano completely. It can be refinished in black. Unfortunately, a lot of, uh, say unfortunately, but for us, we prefer to keep the original wood if possible. I'll show you a similar piano that we're repolishing at the moment. This is the piano that we're repolishing at the moment, um, and the same sort of wood. This is a mahogany veneer. Uh, it's a very tasteful wood, really, and I think it's coming out beautifully. The colours come out excellently. Now, this is natural mahogany. We haven't put any dye in it at all. And you can see we try and bring out as much contrast of grain as possible. Uh, around about 30 coats and then finished off, uh, smoothed off afterwards. So um, it's as good as we can possibly get. Now, this piano is actually in a complete mess. We have got a video of it. It was a piano that you'll, if you look at, actually you can Google it and find the piano that used to be in the um, Oxford Union in Oxford and uh, has been played by many well-known people who visited the Oxford Union. So it's, it's an interesting piano in that sense. It's been restored well by somebody, but the, the casework was in a, uh, I suppose the best word to call it is, well, is a mess. But we are working on that and we believe it's going to be practically perfect when it's finished. So the inside isn't perfect on this one. Um, but I thought you'd like to have see a quick look at this one as well to compare with the others. So it's a very brief look at these pianos that just come into stock. This is the Bersendorfer 1986, 170 centimetres long. It's heavy to play, otherwise it's a very refined piano, which we want to refine even further. I haven't tuned it at all yet, but it's quite in tune anyway. So that's very encouraging and we're looking forward to working on that one. So this is a 1920s Bösendorfer and has been played a lot, as we said, you can tell by the keys particularly. But it just, it, it feels uneven, the hammers, are, it needs a lot of work. So we're very likely to fully restore this, but if you want to pay less, obviously we can sell it without fully restoring and just uh, try and recondition it instead. But it's a good candidate for that and well worth doing. Now this is a Luther Style 4, again, 1920s. Or it might be 30s, so I can't remember the date of this, but they're all very similar styles. It's got potential, certainly, but um, very uneven. Um, nothing technically wrong with it, particularly. It's just got a lot of work to do on it. And it needs repolishing, ideally, as well. But again, if you want a less expensive piano, it might be possible for us to just to recondition it. So if you're interested, please let us know. So this is the Beckstein Model 5. It's a piano that we often buy and sell. One of our favorites, we're both fully restoring and, and just reconditioning. This one's fully restored and a bit unusual in the sense that we don't get time to do it. And this was all done by us as opposed to in corroboration with other companies. Um, it hasn't been tuned since it came back from the USA. And, well, I don't want to start saying superlatives, but it's excellent. We had to change the, it, it came without key tops. They were taken off before it was imported back to the UK. Um, I mentioned about it earlier. This is 1896. Um, this style of desk actually is common for that, well, relatively common, but you, you'll see the, the sort of sunburst type, or some people call it spiderweb desk, uh, more commonly on Becksteins. But this is a very attractive one. Uh, thinks it looks like one of those th things, piece of paper that you, you, you open out, if you know what I mean. And uh, hopefully that was Anderson and Doilies, I think they're called, aren't they? Uh, and uh, very tasteful piano, been repolished, but the top lid has a line on it where it's been exposed to the to, to light, uh, the underside hasn't been exposed to light and the rest of the piano has. But generally it's very even. I think we could probably improve the case without repolishing it because it was our polisher that did it in the first place so he will know what sort of polish he used. But um, delightful piano in every way. And last of all then, this is Steinway Model B Grand Piano. Being restored 
but the case is bad as you can see and generally needs repolishing. Um, so this very often these are redone black um, just because there's such a demand for black pianos. But in fact, as you hopefully you saw on the video earlier on, that we do repolish mahogany pianos and it would come out beautifully. But because they're used in concerts and concert pianos are so often black, um, if we fully restored, we would probably redo it in black, I'm sorry to say, just because of the demand for pianos in black. a lot of regulation but the work's been done well. And it has a very very good bass. The bass strings are excellent so there's a lot of positive things to say. A lot of voicing, a lot of refinement to do still but we'll certainly enjoy working on this piano. So thank you very much for listening.